Hello, hello. This is Elisa Di Napoli, aka Elisa Vupas, and welcome to the Dare to Be Seen, Dare to Create, um, number seven from the Dare to Be Seen community.com. That's me and a bunch of other people that are interested in really create and uh, be their best selves. So when it comes down to art, when it comes down to music, when it comes down to uh, writing, whatever it is that you're interested in. So today, um, uh, welcome to everybody on Instagram and on Facebook. If you are on Instagram, you can actually um, go uh, on to the there could to be seen community.com on Facebook if you want to share um, your experience today and um, and get notified of uh, future um, broadcasts. So um, having said that, uh, what we're doing today is basically we want to get inspired and um, we want to breathe life into our work. We want to access our subconscious inspiration. We want to open up to new possibilities. And um, what has led me to um, decide to do this workshop today, which will, should be about half an hour, is that um, recently I've been struggling with uh, my creative output and I have been finding it difficult sometimes to really get into the zone and uh, feel motivated to create, even though once I am actually doing something, I feel okay but you know it's been kind of stops and starts and um, I've actually been doing a course that um, has been helping me to get inspired again and one of the assignments was um, to fill my life with things that inspire me to become a bit like a sponge if you like or maybe a, a rain cloud impregnating myself with the water of inspiration <laughs> and uh, how to do this uh, was for me to give myself permission to actually spend time and show myself that I value spending time doing things that inspire me so for example um, listening to music new music or reading books uh, that are inspiring to me or actively watching uh, movies or pictures that are that speak to me and then taking notes about it now this is not what I'm suggesting uh, you do I mean by all means if you want that's a, a great technique um, but I'm telling you this because for me this was not uh, it didn't come natural I kind of felt guilty uh, doing this almost as if uh, it was a luxury you know and I had to give myself a permission to allow myself the space to actually slow down and uh, and uh, actively pursue things that make me feel inspired and then uh, documenting it writing it down so that later when I start creating I can um, relate back to these experiences now, this is, may seem like a simple thing to do, um, and it is, but when you are stuck in a rut or when you are uh, feeling uninspired, it may seem impossible to think in this way. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I am a um, singer, songwriter, drummer, podcaster, also a artist and creativity coach and a hypnotherapist. I've also written a book about performance anxiety. But what I, um, I am uh, really interested in right now is in helping other creatives get their projects going, get their projects into the world so that they can feel inspired and then share these gifts with everyone else, shine their light in, in, in their own unique way with everyone else. Because when we do this, we become, as a community, more rich. So if you're feeling a bit stuck, a bit stale, um, your, perhaps your creative time or space may lack some rhythm or you may feel that you're gone and you have gone into a groove but now it's transformed to some kind of rut, well, the aim of the exercise we're going to do in a moment is to reignite your enthusiasm 
And, you know, sometimes uh, the smallest shift can allow the light back in. So these exercises will enable you to, to visualize hidden resources that you may not be aware of. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a short meditation together, a guided visualization together. And then I'm going to invite you to write down your experience. Um, I'll ask you some questions that will get you going in the light of the experience you've had. And then I'll ask you to commit to an action that will help you to actually make this happen. And we'll then share what we've done together. So let us begin with the meditation. If you've got any uh, questions, by the way, uh, do let me know in the in the comments. I think I can see these comments right now. This always happens to me when I do a live stream. I just suddenly can't see anything. Okay, uh, well, let's get started anyway. So what we want to do is sit with a straight back, right? And uh, both feet on the floor. And what I'd like you to do is to have your hands separated, your um, legs not crossing, and shut your eyes or you can look down just with your gaze relaxed and unfocused. And let's begin by connecting your feet to the ground beneath you, acknowledging that your resources come from the planet and that you are aiming to bring your ideas down to earth. So bring your attention to where your feet touch the ground, contact, connect to the ground. And sensing the aliveness of this earth beneath you. Holding the awareness that it has already provided everything that has enabled you to survive. If you can develop a sense of having a, a warm relationship with the ground, those feet touching the ground, gently notice how you are breathing the earth's atmosphere and take time to slowly exhale and again breathing in deep cleansing breaths and breathing out letting go of everything else and does not belong to this moment. Any to-do list, any tension, just let it go as you breathe out of your fingertips, of your toes. Let's do this a couple more times until you feel grounded and relaxed. Deepening the breath. Allowing the exhale to become longer. And when you're ready, I invite you to visualize 
go into a place where you can create. Maybe it's your existing studio. Maybe it's an imaginary space. And see that as clearly as you can in your mind's eye. Imagine what your eyes would see. Imagine what your ears would hear and what you would feel. Perhaps there's a certain kind of smell or sound that you recognize or feels familiar. And as you enter this space now, you'll find right in the middle of it, in front of you, a surprise. Perhaps it's in a, an envelope, perhaps it's in a parcel. Or maybe the space itself has transformed. This is your present from the muse exactly what your muse wants and what your creative hearts desires allow yourself to explore this gift now and the feeling around it Take your time to really enjoy whatever you find. And then when you're ready, allow yourself time to return slowly to the here and now. Holding a sense of relaxation and the memories of this visualization. And when you're ready, open your eyes and write down what you've experienced, what your gift was. And I'll give you a few moments to do this.
Okay. And so now that you've got this written down, your experience, I want to ask you a, a question. What resources are needed in order to put your inspiration, this gift, into action now? So, for example, is it new skills? Is it adapting old skills? Is it formal learning? Or is it time, space, materials, money, reorganizing your resources, your material, your workspace? Is it that you need to make some choices about what to let go, to make space for the new? Is there even a major change involved in a longer term plan? Or is it a series of smaller changes? So what I invite you to do is to ask yourself a question. First of all, what would you, what resources you need? And what would you do, first of all, if the resources were limitless? Because first we want to be free and explore. And then we can consider the alter the, the, the al realistic possibilities, the realistic alternatives, and scaling down the plan to make it possible. But first of all, write down what resources you are, are needed right now in order to put this inspiration, this gift into action. And I would love for you to actually share this with me in the comments so that we can perhaps work on it together. If you have a question, you're not sure, make sure you leave a comment. Otherwise, just write it down. Write down what are these resources that you need. And perhaps begin to, once you've done that, consider if you need to change anything, any, um, what are the realistic alternatives. What we really want is to think about Think about the action that you need to take, right? You need to take an action. It could be, for example, a day to set a date to begin researching costs or possibilities. Or maybe it's something as simple as simply setting up a day to reorganize a corner of your studio. But the important thing is to put... to Put the date in the diary so that you are actually committing to putting into action what you have found is necessary to make use of this gift. And, and making sure that this, this action is the, the date that you, that you have chosen for this action is in a happy spot between overpressurizing yourself, like, oh, I've got to do it now, or it's got to be done immediately, and also procrastination. Like, yeah, one day, maybe next week, you know, we don't want that, we want to be really precise. So can you decide right now what the next step is, just the next step, and write that down in your diary? And I'd love for you to actually share what this next step is. Because, you know, when you can share with other people where you are on your journey, it becomes easier to actually do it. You, It's almost like you're being held accountable by the fact that you have shared it. So it's no longer just in your head. It's now out into the world. Right? And I would love for you to actually share this in the 
there to be seen community dot com and actually allow everybody to become involved to maybe help or share uh with you what they've decided you know when when we start doing these things together it is a lot easier than when you're on your own it's easier when you're on your own to just procrastinate to just yeah yeah i'll do it some other day and then never getting anything done and you know perhaps i could give you one last example of you know one of my clients and what um they did with this exercise to just give you an idea um so um i had a client who was a um a designer um but she was quite uh, overwhelmed she was her studio was extremely cluttered you know always busy with commissions um she had not enough time or less time than she wanted to declutter the studio or to even generate new ideas for that matter um and she'd been working on clearing this un- unwanted clutter for uh quite some time 10 minutes a day um and in, in this exercise she saw um a glass table in a nice clean space and in the middle in the middle of the studio where she could make uh something called monotypes and acting on this was pretty straightforward right um so she began to focus on um her daily decluttering sessions in this area and and created a space where she's now making the monotypes you know while she's generating a new stream of ideas at the same time so this is just an example um yours might be something completely different and it doesn't matter what it is but just trust that whatever it's come into your visualization has come from your subconscious so it's a deeper part of you so don't doubt it go for it and if you under their hand you're you're a person that struggles with perhaps this or just in general getting your creative projects out of your head and, and into the world maybe you get sidetracked easily you don't know what to prioritize you don't know where to start you feel you need a little bit of guidance well if that's you then i invite you to apply for a free kickstart your project session and the link to that is um just here it's the hypnoticinning.co.uk slash coaching for creatives and I only have a few of these every month so if if that's you um feel free to book uh, one of these sessions they're free and there's no pressure to buy anything it's more um just to to see whether I can help you to uh, get your project going all right so that's all for me for today please do share your experience that'd be fantastic if you're on Instagram Marco uh you're welcome all to share on Instagram as well or to come to the there to be seen community.com on Facebook and to share with us what you found useful otherwise see you all next week next Sunday at 7 p.m. UK 11 a.m. PST and 2 p.m. EST and the weekly um the you know the time when i basically announce what i'm going to do is on monday so on monday on the there to be seen community you'll find uh basically a link telling you when uh the next one is going to be and also on instagram i usually post on a monday as well all right or for now thank you for being here until next week have a good week <laughs>